So this is part three of chapter seven, right? And uh, we were middle in, uh, in the middle of this side, so uh, slide. So we were discussing that corporate profit. This is income by big corporations like IBM, Motorola, Nokia, and corporate profit is the uh, your profit is the difference between one revenue revenue minus one minus cost right and then we have in the corporate profit we have corporate income taxes dividends and undistributed corporate profit so corporate profit can be divided in uh, in any of these three it uh, part of corporate profit is given as tax to the government then it is given uh, the other part uh, <coughs> out of the remaining part uh, post tax profit uh, dividend is declared dividend is the income of the shareholders right <clears throat> this money is return of for the shareholders then the real then, then the third and last undistributed corporate profit this is we call retain earning and this is the money that is will be reinvested in the in the in the, in the business again right okay now the last uh, last one for future growth of the business now the last one is what taxes on production and import this you can see you can think as income to the government right so that part so when we add all of these together we come back to the table again or add all of this together and we get what we get this national income see national income this one and then so and then now let us take a look at this uh, these are different countries we are co comparing gdp in the us look at that blue dash line gdp but remember this is for 2000 uh, uh, this is for 2009 now if the now the numbers we are here numbers are higher so gross domestic product for gdp in the us for 2015 it was 17 trillion 947 dollars you see so so numbers are changing every year you can go to the bea website bureau of economic analysis website and you can look go and look at the current numbers from 2000 for 2018 okay now back to this slide we already now know how we how we i got this item right national income the next thing we want to do is what Next thing we want to do is uh, go from national income to what? NDP, net domestic product. So what? Are, how are we going to go? We will adjust. We will adjust this uh, so from here in this slide. See, you have this is the GDP, and you we uh, minus we subtract consumption of this capital. This is depreciation, and then we get what NDP, net domestic product, NDP, right? And then we make two more adjustments. One is statistical discrepancy 209, and then net foreign factor income 105, and this is what 12, 12 trillion 288, 12 national income 12 trillion 288, right? Right, national income 12 trillion 288, then. From national income, so here you see in national income, the focus, the focus is on how much income does the factors of production of a country are, right? <clears throat> and then here in GDP, focus is on what is the size of the output produced within the physical boundary of the country, right? And then uh, from national income, we want to go to personal income, PI. PI, in the PI, the focus is on how much, what is the income of the households to spend, either earned or unearned, right? So we have to make all these adjustments to go from national income NI to personal income PI. So what are these adjustments? Look at all of these. These four are deductions, right? We have national income, but we know that we cannot enjoy all the, or everything that uh, is it, uh, that, uh, uh, that we are we have to pay taxes we have to pay social security contribution we have to pay corporate income tax right some business if you own if you invest in the stock and then if your company is is making profit they have to pay tax so that part also is tax you cannot take home 
you can only get to take home as the owner of the corporation you can only take, take home the dividend and enjoy and then undistributed corporate profit all of those are what they are retained and the okay now the next thing is what but one thing will be added national income doesn't count transfer payment right that's uh, but uh, but here uh, uh, in, in personal income we will count that transfer payment so we add that to transfer payment and the result is what from, from yes personal income becomes 12 trillion 26 national income was 12 trillion 288 right then we subtract personal taxes then we subtract personal taxes disposable income is 10 trillion 924 disposable income so personal pi is 12 trillion 26 personal taxes 1102 and then disposable income is 10 trillion 924 um, now look at that this is a circular flow and this uh, remember the circular flow diagram we had we studied at the end of chapter 2 that was a simple version this is the full version so all these orange arrows they are one they are they represent uh, uh, they, they represent the uh, gdp the expenditure approach and uh, and then all these green green arrows that those flows are one represent gdp in income approach so you can you can uh, you can analyze this if you can compare them with this table you can easily analyze this this one see so gross domestic product this is the sum of what this is investment this is gross domestic investment this is government expenditure this is what uh, personal consumption expenditure and this is net export right <laughs> remember those four four components in the expenditure approach and all of these are what income so and then this is uh, and then if we make these three deductions from gdp if we take these three away we get net domestic product and from that net domestic product if we add back what net foreign factor income we get national income from national income, if we divert these these four four i four items, these these four items, we will get personal income. And from personal income, if we divert this personal taxes, we get disposable income, right? And that is disposable income is the amount that the U.S. households will get to spend, right? And government income is what is the social security contribution this uh, uh, these taxes on production and import and personal tax all government expenditure then government will spend this money right you see this in the flow u.s businesses they will buy this is uh, undistributed corporate profit and this consumption of fixed capital that is that uh, this is income for them and then what and then also the personal savings personal savings is also part uh, channeled uh, as investment expenditure right so uh, here so and then uh, so this is how this is how the network is, is is working one thing i want to talk net foreign factor income this is the one this some we have some u.s factors that are producing in other countries and we have some foreign factors that are producing within the physical local boundary of the US, right? So like, like there are Japanese automakers producing cars in the US. And also there are US oil farm, oil, oil, oil farms, right? Big oil farms, energy farms producing, developing gas fields, oil fields in other parts of the world. So the difference between those two is what? Net foreign factor income, right? now the next in the next part of the lecture we want to discuss talk a little bit about the nominal versus nominal versus real income right real gdp so gdp is a dollar measure of production as we have said this is a nominal value dollar value and and 
and we we know that uh, because this is a dollar value, we will have we can have inflation, and using dollar values creates this problem. Therefore, we can we measure more, we can measure GDP in two approaches. Nominal GDP we will use prevailing price. Real GDP reflect changes in price, right? Use base year price. That is reflect changes in price. So we are just here for the real GDP. We will adjust here for inflation. So use price index to determine real GDP. You know, use price index to determine real GDP. Price index in given year equal to what? Price of market basket in the specific year divided by price of same basket in base year times 100, right? So, so, so that is how we measure the price index. And soon we will show you how to use this in the new and next example, right, in, the, in that table. Before that, let us discuss one more thing. If we want to find real GDP, then we can divide the nominal GDP divided by price index in hundreds, right? Uh, or if we have price index not in hundreds, then we can just do nominal GDP divided by price index times 100. That will be real GDP, right? So price index in given year, and then uh, one thing I want to discuss about this market basket a little bit more before we move on. This market basket is a is a is a collection of goods and services. We we will compare the cost of buying the, the that basket in the specific year divided by cost of buying the same basket, same market basket in the base year. And then it will be what price index in given year, right? Okay. So let us give you the mild example here. Let us say base no, let us say base year is one year, right? So year one, one, two, uh, three, units of units of output is five, uh, year one is five, year two is seven, year three is eight. Now, no, price of pizza, price of pizza per unit, price of pizza per unit. That's the 10 uh, in year one, two in year 20 in year uh, 20 in year two, 25 in year three, see? And then units of output five in year one, seven in year two, eight in year three. So we have, and then what happens? Price index year one is what? Is how much? Year one is equal to 100, right? Year one equal to 100. So you see, this is always true. Whenever you have, uh, you select out of this given, given five years, whenever you select year one, whichever year you select as base year, it will be 100. Index will be 100, right? In this example, it is year one. If we select year two, right, instead, if we had selected year two, it would be what? It would be this one. Year two index would be 100. Again, but now let us continue with our example. So then how are we going to get the index for price index for year two? How do we get this 200? Now look, in this country, there is just pizza, nothing else, right? This is a one commodity economy. And here, price, let us say that we include one pizza as our commodity basket. Remember, remember this basket. So cost of one pizza in the specific year and cost of the of one pizza in what? In the base year. Divide, multiply with 100. So cost of one pizza in year two is 20. Cost of one pizza in year one is what? In, 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 is 10. 20 divided by 10 is what? 20 divided by 10 times uh, 10 times uh, 100 is 200. See? So that we have. And then what happens? This is 25. 25 divided by 20. 25 divided by 20 is 250. Right? So that is what? So, uh, no, sorry. 25 is the is the specific year. We are measuring price index for year 325, and the base year still remain the same. Year one price is 10, right? Again, go back to the formula. So market basket specific year will be what? For year three, for year three it is 25. For year one is which is the base year, always the base year, right? 10. So divide and then and multiply it will be 250 see now let us